Okay then guys, here we go with a healthy tomato juice drink. A bit like uh, one called V8, but I can't call it V8, so it's going to be V8 and three quarters. So we got 10 tomatoes, a couple of cucumbers, two medium carrots, but these are small, so I've used them that bunch there. Uh, two cloves of garlic, now a chilli or Tabasco sauce, two beetroot, a um, handful of parsley leaves, an onion, uh, honey, Worcestershire sauce, or as my Canadian friends call it, Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper, and some olive oil to cook it in. So I'll get you set up and we'll start cooking. Okay then, here we go as they say. Good glug of olive oil to get things cooking. Okay then, so basically the first part we add everything except the cucumbers and parsley to the pan. So, choppy choppy. And as usual, you're not going to watch me do all of these. These are uh, Carudo carrots from out the veggie bag in the front garden. And a very nice carrot they are too. Oh, it's a bit, a bit blunt of a brood. Oh, yeah. Give it a couple of. Uh... Better. Doesn't really matter about. Thank you, motorbike. Doesn't really matter what size chunks you do because it's all going to be blitzed again anyway. Well, let's get some tomatoes. Tomato. Let's get some tomatoes in there. A bit of juice. Oh. Let's say ten, ten medium tomatoes. When it's in exactly. Yeah. Ten tomatoes. And I'm hoping this will make come on, here. Yeah. You wonder why I keep looking up. It's just to make sure the camera's still recording. It's had a habit of going off lately, or battery's gone flat and I've not heard the beeps. Right, that's the tomatoes. Get a few of these in, I suppose. I'm just going to chop the garlic because, like I said, it's going to it's going to get blended anyway. And that's why we were watching the screen because the camera just went off. Right, um, chili. I'm using a small chili here where you have a uh, what is it? Um, basket of fire. Just as easy to use a couple of drops of Tabasco, a couple of good dashes of Tabasco sauce. I'm not putting the whole chili in, so about half a chili. Onion, I'm saving the messy one for the last. No preference over red or white onions, so the red was just there. Right, beetroot, this is the messy one. I've got a potato peeler here somewhere. Um, yeah, it's only red, isn't it? Look at them, look at them lovely colour. These are beetroot red ace. Lovely. murderer. <laughs> right, um, Worcestershire sauce. Now I'm going to put in a good dash. I'd... Yeah, I, I call that a good dash. In fact, I've only got that much left in the bottle so it's all going in. I've got some more indoors. And pepper. 
I like pepper, so you know. And not too much salt. We can add more salt later on to taste. Okay, last thing. Oh, two tablespoons of honey. And this is runny honey, so it's quite easy. Did you know that honey is the only food stuff that does not rot? There we are. Okay then, gurging away. I'm going to say four, 45 minutes for that because the beetroot's, uh, you know, in its um, natural state, not out of a jam jar. Well, okay, that's been going for 45 minutes now. Look at the colour of that. Cool. Right, that's ready now. So, um, next step. Okay now, while that's cooling down a bit, I'm just going to put it over here. Get ready for the next step, which is going to be uh, of the first blending. So what we need to do, we, we're going to basically put everything else in. So let's get the parsley in. Parsley in the blender. The Italian giant leaf parsley. And what you do is... Um, you put one cucumber in now and one in a minute, but because they're such different sizes, I'm just going to put that bit in for now. Yeah, it looks lovely. These are, um, oh, they're the Market More or Masterpiece, I can't remember. Right, what we're going to do, we're going to pulse it a bit. Do, 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 do. Right, what we're after is a thick soup. Okay, then we're going to pass it through a sieve. Which could take a while. Well, that's that all poured through the sieve. Just under a litre, not too bad. Is that a litre? Yeah. What I'm going to do now then, just put that to one side a second and then just roughly chop the remaining uh, cucumber. See, roughly, because it's going to get blended in a second. Second blending. The colour of that, can you see that? And then we're going to blend for well, one minute. Still a bit warm. I'm going to put it into a bottle. Now I don't know which bottle to use. I reckon that one there. Mmm. Mmm, that is good. Mm. Healthy too. There you are, guys. 
just under a litre of V8 and three quarters, a very healthy tomato juice drink. Wow, oh, chin chin. Hmm. I'll tell you what, that is good. That would be brilliant in a Bloody Mary. Oh, it's got the chilli in already. You don't need to put more chilli in. When you do it this way, dead steep, that's for re-sharpening. So, you know, you've had a bad knock or something like that, or you've lost the edge totally. You do it flat, that's for like, yeah, finishing off. And if you do it like this, downwards, that's for polishing. And I always give it a quick wipe with a tea towel afterwards just to get any uh, filings off.